Okay, welcome back to Blaze Blue. So, last episode, we had a bunch of exposition. This episode, hopefully, we'll get to fight. Damn, what a shame! Well, I don't suppose there's any harm in killing that old hag. Ah, wait! Damn you! Wait! Man, oh man! Don't tell me you're gonna kick the bucket already! Hey! Can you hear me? Oh well, I gotta be on my way. I'll need that little brat, though. <laughs> Goodbye, brother. Seriously, the voice actor does not sound like he's a little kid. They should have chosen a better voice actor, because I believe that is the voice actor that just plays him grown up. <laughs> this is where my memories of that day end. I wake up to a thunderstorm, a thunderous downpour of rain. Am I alive? Trying to lift my body up, it's, but it feels like I'm being nailed to the ground. So much for that. My shoulder feels like it's on fire where my arm used to be. Something detail and tells me the pain is just an illusion. That's right. I... I lost my arm. That is the most... I would be freaking out if I lost my arm. And I'm sure many of you would be freaking out as well. I can't stand up. I, st I still can't stand up. All I can do is stare at the ruins of the church. That's... Sayo's music box is sitting in the middle of the rubble. Shit. How did it survive Shit. the fire? Shit! I know why they didn't use the word fuck for this line. To keep the T E rating of this game. It's gone. All of it. Everything that's important to me is taken by the flames. My body's useless. All I can do is scream. So that's what I'll do. So that's what I do. Until I pass out again. Okay. This middle slot uh, is the YouTube. I wish I could rename it, but I can't. <laughs> Damn it. Not this dream again. I wish they'd knock it off already. <laughs> Who? I lift my right hand off my face and look at it. It moves just like I want it to. Shit. Wait. What the hell is she doing here? You look pale, Ragnar. A nightmare, perhaps? I turn toward the voice, and before me stands a young girl holding a strange umbrella. There are two ribbons holding her hair into place. They make her look like a... What do you want, rabbit? And may I comment that they this game has filled its Lolita quota just with this character. And Lolita means like Characters who look like they're like five years old or something, like under 13, pretty much, is what Lolita refers to. It could, it could even be characters that age, or it could be characters that are older or look that age. Like Konata from uh, Lucky Star, for example. You were groaning in your sleep, so I took pity and woke you, ungrateful beast. Her lips are off. Yeah. You should be thankful the princess is even wasting her time. On a man like you. And what does that imply? You're in her debt! Oh, uh -huh. that princess. hurts! I don't know if those two things are her friends or her servants, but what I do know is that they're go gonna piss me off if they don't get the hell out of here. A rare beast. How strangely appropriate. You sleep where others fear to tread, 
and you are always very, very entertaining. How perfect. Shut the hell up. You're more like a rare beast than I'll ever be, vampire. <laughs> what the- What a cocky little creature you are. Which reminds me, you have a rather handsome bounty on your head, don't you? I wonder how much you're worth right now. Hey, that isn't funny, Rabbit. Your Highness, this dog's barking something. The weaker they are, the louder they bark. Shut up, you're nothing but stuffed toys. Uh. If these simpletons can rouse you to anger, you still have much to learn. Oh, that does it. Now I'm really pissed. I'm gonna make you regret this, Rachel. I don't know how he already knows her name or not. Oh, please, do try. I would like that very much. Because, apparently, as far as I know, this is the first game in this series. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first one in the series. Yes, finally a fight! The Wheel of Fate is turning! Hey, Rabbit, you better hope I never see you button into human affairs again. Words cannot describe my fear. Losing your temper like a little kid. You need to grow up, boy. I don't like playing as Ragnar. Here's the reason why. He's too slow of a character. A brat indeed! You guys lost, so why are you even talking? Madam Rachel? Oh, Falkenhain. Are you here to collect the bounty on this creature? Like, comment. Old guys with... Old guys and anime are generally badass. Usually with Falkenhain's character design. Most of the time is that... Um... Character... Her design for them. I don't know. What the hell? It looks like, like someone sliced open the air, and some old fart in a tux just appeared out of nowhere. Doesn't seem interested in me, though. Just that damn rabbit. Of course not, madam. I only wish to humbly inform you that breakfast awaits your ladyship in the dining hall. Goodness. Breakfast time already. I would also humbly suggest that you avoid men of the lower classes, such as that filthy hey. creature there. What the hell'd you say? I'm sorry I skipped that. Go home, kid. The hour is late. He sure doesn't seem scared of the rabbit. But that glare he threw my way wasn't real friendly. That's right! I'd take his advice if I were you! Princess! That hurts! What was that for? Valkenhain, what have you prepared for my breakfast? I'm guessing blood. I was able to secure a delectable piscine specimen today, which I have taken the liberty of crafting into a polel dish. I have also prepared you a vibrant potage, which will be accompanied by your drink. Uh, I don't know what a potel dish is. So... And I'm not going to look it up, because this is unedited. I despise tomato juice. I am well aware of that, madam. Well, good. Nago, Guy, it's high time we left. It's about damn time. Go home and never come back. Oh, but I did enjoy myself a small bit. Shall we meet again sometime, Mr. Grim Reaper? 
I think you have done quite enough, child. Your births have already placed you worlds apart. I would advise you to maintain the distance. So they just come here and give me crap and then book it. Screw that! Where the hell did they go anyway? I don't think I could have followed them if I wanted to. The hell is this guy talking about? Ah, seriously, what a huge waste of time. Nobody here listening to my bitchin'. Just get swallowed up by the darkness. I don't like this one bit. Yeah. So I guess that fight did give me a chance to blow off a little steam. It also got me to show you guys how hard it is to play a slow character in a fighting game that doesn't that does medium damage. God damn it! Whatever, being pissed ain't gonna help me right now. Just gotta keep moving. As the fog lifts, I can see my destination in the distance. So that's the 13th hierarchical city. Kagutsuchi, huh? I'm going to end the episode here. So we have enough time to do the next five because there was a lot of exposition in this episode as well. But we finally got to do a fight. Third episode will be posted tomorrow.